Okay, so what are we looking at here? So this is Edouard Monet's Young Woman in a Round Hat, an oil on canvas completed around 1877 to 1879. A lot of people classify Monet as a French Impressionist, but he actually helped bridge the gap between realism and Impressionism. Yeah, I definitely agree. It's funny because he actually classified himself as a realist artist and declined multiple invitations to display his works in the Impressionist exhibitions with the likes of his contemporaries, Monet, Renoir, Cezanne. So let's look at this painting. I mean, clearly we see the influence of realism. It looks as if Monet portrays this woman by accurately detailing her features versus idealizing her figure. That was one of the first things I noted as well. She looks manly. I mean, the clothing suggests she's a woman, but her features don't seem feminine. Her shoulders are very broad and stiff, and look at the size of her nose. I mean, the emphasized delineation of her chin and the dark shadow that's cast under it. It's as dark as the color of her hair. Some have even noted that the paint in front of her ears alludes to sideburns. It's interesting because the use of black throughout the painting, especially the gloves and the hat, is not characteristic of Impressionism at all. This highlights more of the realist aspects of the work, Monet's actual honest observation of this woman. True, yet we also see hints of Impressionism with his techniques and his very subject as a bourgeoisie woman. I mean, his work's characterized by thick vertical brush strokes and layering of colors in the background, the blues, the greens, and the whites. But I mean, do you feel as if this background is very cohesive? No, I mean, there are some diagonal strokes that sporadically interrupt it. Plus, the lighter layered background definitely juxtaposes the darker foreground. Well, actually, by examining the foreground, it brings to light my favorite aspect of this work. If we look closely, we can see Monet's decision to conceal the woman's eyes with a smudge of black paint, masking her identity even more so than does the veil. I mean, it's very out of place. Yeah, this really reminds me of Lily Briscoe's final stroke in Virginia Woolf's The Lighthouse. You know, Lily struggles to find her place in society, as did Woolf as a female modernist writer, and in a way, the final stroke to Lily represented the resolution of conflict. Lily's ability to overcome convention, have her vision, and not really care much as much about societal expectations. I agree. I see a definite relation between the two. However, the line in Monet's painting seems to represent the complete opposite. The smudge obscures the woman's vision, alluding to the subordination of women and their limitations in society at the time. And it seems Monet personifies her identity not through individuality, though, but through fashion as seen by the woman's more modern dress and accessories. Yeah, he alludes to fashion as a way to represent modernity and give women a new place in society. But it's fascinating, because while modernism did work towards progression in society, fashion's based on appearance, materialism, and superficiality, which is quite contrary to giving women the status that they desired and could be seen as a step backward. Yeah, so the lack of focus on the woman brings us to question if this is even a portrait. The goal of a portrait was to illuminate a person's personality with the person's face looking towards the viewer to interact. But this digression from conventional portraiture is typical of Monet. I mean, as we see in his other portraits, portraits of a model, portrait of a lady, where the woman's face isn't the focus and her gaze is averted. Even his titles using lady, woman, model are ambiguous. Well, then again, that brings us back to Monet's emphasis on fashion defining a woman over her actual identity. Which he did say, the latest fashion is absolutely necessary for a painting. It's what matters most.